Welcome to my channel. My name is Steven and in this channel, I would like to share how I use technology to help me with my daily lives. Today, I will show you a step-by-step -step process of pairing this Wi-Fi smart bulb. This would be the second smart device I have added to my smart home project. The first being this, a smart plug. If you want to see how to pair this plug, please check out the link here. I will also put the link in the description below. Should you be interested in getting some of these smart devices, I will leave my affiliate link in the description area as well. Now back to our bulb. This is a 9 watts Wi-Fi smart bulb. It produces a brightness equivalent to a 60 watts incandescent light bulb. So off the top, the smart bulb consumes less power. The other thing is that it can change color, not just different shades of white, but it can produce millions of colors as well. Plus, it is dimmable. You can set time schedule and automation, remote on and off, and even use voice to control it. And all of this can be done via an app. Now, let's take a look at what is inside the box. Well, we have the bulb, of course. Note that this bulb fits an E27 socket. The other items in the box is the user manual. You won't need this today as I will be taking you through the entire process in this video. Before we start, we'd like to go through some minimum requirements. First, you will need a smartphone or tablet running on either Android or iOS. Next, you need to get the free app. You can either use the Smart Life app or the 2 Years Smart app. Both apps interface seems to be identical, so you can follow along this video without any issue. They are available in the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. You will need to install the app and sign up for an account. Lastly, and this is important, you will need to connect your phone or tablet to the 2.4GHz Wi-Fi band. Most smart home devices will only connect via the 2.4GHz. Wi-Fi routers nowadays are dual band. That means that you can connect your devices using either the 5GHz or the 2.4GHz band. You just need to make sure you connect to the right band for the setup to work. Okay, now let's start pairing our bulb to our app. As you can see, I have already fixed the bulb into the socket, but have not switched on the power. On the phone, start your app. You will see that I have two apps here. As I said, both apps are identical. You should be able to follow along fairly easily. I'll start the Smart Life app. If you are pairing your first smart home devices, your home screen will be empty. Mine has already two items paired to it. To start pairing, let's go to the plus icon on the top right. On the left column, select Lighting. On the right column, you will select Light Source Wi-Fi. Here, you'll be requested to put in your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi SSID and password. Once you fill it up, click Next. The app will ask you to check if your bulb are flashing. So let's turn on power to our bulb. If you do not see the bulb starting to flash within the first 10 seconds, you need to reset it and put the bulb into pairing mode. You can do this by switching on and off the bulb three times. Since our bulb has not started to flash, we will reset it by turning it off. Turn it on once, twice, and three times. Wait a moment and you will see it flash once then it will begin to flash rapidly. Once you see the flashing, tap on the confirm the light is blinking rapidly here and next. Now this part will be fairly automatic, no input required. It will take no more than 40 seconds. At some point, as you can see, the bulb stop flashing. That means the app has found the bulb and is doing the registration part. I'll speed this up so that we don't have to wait. Okay, now your bulb has been registered, you have an option to rename the bulb. So tap on the pen icon and I am going to rename my test bulb one and save. To complete the pairing process, tap on the done button at the top right of the screen and you will be immediately brought to this setting page where you can set up your preferences. At the lower part of the screen are your setting panels. 
First icon on your left will be your white color setting. The top slider control your brightness, where you can start to dim or reduce the brightness. The bottom is the temperature, so you can go from cold white, which is now in, all the way to warm white. To set your color preferences, tap on the second icon. Here you can select any colors of your choosing, from red to green to blue, or anything in between. There are two sliders below. The top slider controls the brightness of the selected colors, while the bottom slider controls the hue or the shade of the selected color. Here you go. You have your setting done. Once you have completed your preference, we can go back to the home screen by tapping the back icon on the top left. Immediately, you will see some recommendation at the bottom slider, which I don't want it to be. Let's close this off. And you can see your newly installed bulb tile here. So you can switch it off from here to go back to your setting page tab anywhere outside of the on off switch area within the tile and you will be back into setting page to choose your setting or to change your setting you need to switch on the bulb first so tap on the bulb again and you shall see all the icon at the bottom and that's it enjoy the work i'll be taking a closer look at some of the other functions of this app in a future video please stay tuned if you find this to be useful please click on the like icon so that YouTube will recommend it to more people. Please consider subscribing and click on the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.